It's beautiful and honking all at the same time. <laughs> sure if you can see it but there's camp for day one a sight for sore eyes some might say a sight for sore eyes easy Plasters the easy day, it is anything but easy. Uh, first half, pretty flat, pretty easy going. And then uh, hit, smash through checkpoint one, no dramas, hit checkpoint two. Thought I'd smash a quick cliff bar and then I just couldn't even eat it. I was on the verge of being sick. Might have gone off a bit too hard. Uh, and I've, I've suffered for it. Uh, from checkpoint two into uh, the finish, <sighs> sand dunes, chaos honking not enjoyable uh, and like I say that was the easy day and it was it was hard uh, tomorrow 39k very technical speaking to lads who've done this before because we're doing the same course as last year it is rough tomorrow however feeling good uh, legs are all right cut the cheeky blisters which I've sorted out myself it is self-sufficient after all and that's about it. At the moment, I've just managed to sneak into a 100th place, so we'll see how we go. Everyone else in the tent, doing pretty damn well, including the para, which surprises me. Uh, but that is it. Uh, give you a quick lowdown on where we are. That's where all the kind of working stuff work. That's the finish which we ran through today, which I'm guessing will be the start tomorrow. Then we've got a, another another finisher right there. Then we've got just the sort of admin tent, followed by the uh, the internet tent, which has had a massive queue all day. With people people queuing up for like an hour outside at three o'clock in the day. Oh, that's not smart. And then that's the accommodation right there. And those three delightful things there are the shitters for the men, and a single one for the for the females. hanging out absolutely hanging out and we've still got to climb that yep this is what it was all for apparently look at that hey it's magnificent it's great Wow, legs are on fire, man. When it gets worse. Yeah, yep. great, isn't it? Day two, <sighs> absolutely horrendous. Uh, turned as the technical stage, it was it was honking. Uh, sandy dunes to begin with, I think for the first seven k. Then we just went on this never-ending dried riverbed, which just honestly never seemed to end. <sighs> sand dunes, sand dunes, no soft, oh, it was just honking. And then we climbed over this huge jebel, which was morale sapping. Uh, feet are quite painful, but generally morale is high. Uh, position for today was quite a shocking 273. I was in the hurt locker today. I can't even deny that, I, I, was, I was hurting. Has a dig in and uh, call on the commando spirit early doors today. So hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. So 273 today, overall 198, but people's timings are still quite close, so I can gain that again. 
if I can just wake up tomorrow and have a have some have some new legs would be pretty sweet. Uh, but all is good. Morale in the camp is generally good. Morale in tent 104, the dragon tent is exceedingly high. All eight members still in still in the game. All is good. Tomorrow, apparently it's pretty pretty nails tomorrow as well. Uh, but I think from what I hear, everyone kind of takes their foot off the gas because the following day on the Wednesday is the uh, long day. The 50, the, I think it's, we're doing 86k on Wednesday, so that'll be a, that'll be cheeky. Satellite TV though. Yeah. It's beautiful and honking all at the same time. <laughs> just under 11, uh, just over 11 miles in. It's a long day. And this is what we're going down. Some go a bit faster than others. <laughs> As the saying goes, what goes up must go down. Wonderful. My new traveling companions enjoying loving the soft sand. But this sunrise ain't too bad. And a bit of oasis in the middle of the Sahara Desert. It's not too bad. It's about seven in the morning on day five, I think. Basically still on a long stage. Uh, brief overview, because I've not updated this since oh, day three, day two. Uh, basically day two, uh, halfway through day two, I felt my knee was starting to, to play a little bit. So I had to, after a good start that day, I had to walk in the rest of the way, but kind of figured it was just fatigue. Uh, day three, oh, day two night, we had a horrendous sandstorm. Uh, quite funny, but at the time it was just a chaos in all the tents. Tents were getting blown down everywhere. People's kit, if they weren't packed away, uh, <laughs> was getting blown everywhere. Um, yeah. Anyway, day three started, uh, and yeah, basically I can't can't run, uh, so I've, I've had to walk all of day three, which was quite technical. Up, I think we went up three jebels, so that was fun, obviously. Um, went to the dock. They just said, "Oh, it's your ligaments." Or your tendons, which doesn't really come as a surprise because I've had issues before. Give me a couple of cheeky little tramadols, and they were like, on your way. Uh, yeah, day four, the long day, has been quite emotional. Um, however, I think we've got about 12 miles left. We're getting there, uh, albeit quite a slow pace. Another few hours, I'll be done. And then, uh, oh, what's worse is my two iPod shuffles have run out of juice as well, so I've got no music. It's possibly the worst thing which has happened all week to me. Uh, I'll give you a quick little view of where I am at at the moment. So it's pretty cool. You can see one, two, three people behind me. Oh, four, five. So this ground we're on now at the moment, even though it's a bit of a blessing from uh, 
from the soft sand. Oh, canes the knees because it's these rocky, well, just yeah, hard ground, which is great, but then you've got loads of rocks, which just oh, it's, it's a lick out. But either way, you get a nice cup of sugary tea when you finish each day. So that's something to look forward to. Oh, we have about two miles to go on the long day. I'm not sure if you can see it on here. That is the finish line. And that will be 86.2 k's cracked. Nearly there. Day five, last day. Six. Six. It's all merged into one. Me and Peachy getting ready. Because Jamie's got the privilege of uh, starting with the elite athletes, even though he doesn't feel very elite. We wanted a hard MDS, so they finished off the rest of the sandstorm as well. About nine miles from the end of the MDS. Knees holding up, so it's all good. I just wanted to show you this. When you think of the uh, Sahara Desert, you don't really imagine the rocky, dried up riverbeds and the jebels. This is kind of what you think of rolling sand dunes for absolute miles. This is the good shit. Gibbo, this one's for you. Look at this. It's all about making experiences. It's not every day you walk in the Sahara Desert. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end. Time to think of the next adventure, next challenge. And a big thank you to uh, Mrs. McDee. She's had to hear about this fucking race for the last 11 months. Thank you. Love you. Out.